Rebellion. Alohomora. Hello, Homura.
This must be the Prefect's bathroom. If the ministry would allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, my foe. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, you troll? How dare you speak to a Prefect 2, twit. That's it. This 
50 health points. You know you can't do that. Revelio. I bet you'll pay for this. I'm not sure how, but you will. Rebellion. I have a few questions about the demigod statues. <sighs> Just hearing the name sends chills down my spine. Oh, <sighs> very well, if you must. I have nothing more to ask. Yeah, come and see me once you've found the two moons. I wouldn't. You are to be remanded at once.
are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Wing on account of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. Takio. I suppose Professor Black and his best. The students are terribly disappointed. Being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Take her. Thank you. 
I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was that? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Uh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and uh, flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? I suppose you should. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine. Revelio. Rebellio.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio.
Potato. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew One's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Thank you. 
Nice doing business with you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Nothing to that sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Revelio! Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade?
Oh, I'm recording.